Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. Yeah, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown, Barrett. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the video here on the Water Juice channel, and welcome back to another episode of the Brooklyn Barons Relocation Franchise here on Madden. 23 that is right we return and we are ready to go for the final week of the season it is week 18 and we're taking on the miami dolphins to a turn the ball over versus justin fields now don't make any things about justin Fields. just because i've thrown 40 plus interceptions in one season doesn't mean anything it's because this game is bad, not because I'm bad. It's because this game is bad, okay? <laughs> it's a little bit of both. But we can't look at that because we have to focus on the future. We've got a lot of good things going for us. We've got a lot of young guys that have shown they can be something or they have the potential to be something. Even Justin Fields has shown flashes that he can be the guy to carry us to a Super Bowl championship. So... There's a lot of good things to look forward to in this team. There's also a lot of bad things to look at in this team. We've got a lot of money tied up in a few players. So we've got to make some decisions headed into this offseason. Do we want to ship some guys off? Do we want to continue to eat that money? Like it's there's, there's some things to decide, but we've got one final game to play against the Miami Dolphins at home at FDR Stadium. Let's go and see if we can get a W. Although, do we want to get a W? Because obviously we're not going to make the playoffs if we win this game. So that's out of the question. Um, but the real question is, do we want to win? Because that would drop, possibly drop our draft pick stock a little bit. Do we want to try and lose and maybe get up a spot? Like it's, it's up in the air on what we want to do. I'm obviously not going to try and lose. I'm going to play my best. If we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. I'm not going to be too upset about it. So... Let's go in there, have a good game. Hopefully this defense continues to play well because this defense has pretty much been the reason why we've been in a lot of these games. And let's see what happens in the final week of the season. If you're excited, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Let's get into week 18 of the first year of the Brooklyn Barons. Here we are. We are coming off of week 17, the last episode, where we absolutely, no question about it, upset the Kansas City Chiefs. We went on the road to Arrowhead against Patty Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, and that offense, and we held them to seven points. And they didn't get those seven points till the second half. We shut the Kansas City Chief offense out in the first half, and we won 27 to seven. That is still mind blowing. I cannot get over how crazy of a game that was. Unbelievable. So we're, we're riding high on that momentum coming off of that against Miami. We have to finish up the season here at home against the Dolphins. We're going to take a look at the weekly strategy. The Dolphins aren't having that great of a year either. They're 5-11. and We're 5-10-1. And, and as you can see, we're going up against Tua. Tua is the quarterback. They've got Chase Edmonds as their starting running back, I would guess. And I'm going to defend the short pass. I don't know how Tua is going to play in this game. I'm not 100% sure. They've got Emmanuel Ogba still. They've got Xavier Howard. I'm going to stick with the throw it short method myself because I feel like that is a pretty solid goal. I'm actually going to stick with the throw for 350 yards. I don't hate that. And here we are with our normal um, focus player guys. I'm really hoping that maybe Jermaine Johnson can go up to another development trait. Uh, N'Kobe Dean. I'm really hoping some of these guys can develop. I'm really curious to see what Dante Jackson and Tom Lowry's development traits are. I'm guessing both of them are star. But you never know. Maybe we drafted a superstar guy that we just didn't know about. He kind of flew under the radar. I don't know. But I'm very curious to see it. I'm, I'm assuming, like I said, that, was, that they're going to be star development. We do have a couple upgrades, or at least one upgrade. It's going to be, ooh, Darnell Mooney gets an upgrade point. We don't really care about Xavier Jones. But I am going to make Darnell Mooney playmaker upgrade because playmaker is still pretty good for getting upgrades on certain um, attributes. So Darnell Mooney gets that upgrade. And then we can just auto upgrade on Xavier Jones. Doesn't really matter there. But let's take a look at what the Miami Dolphins have here in uh, year number two. This is year number two of the franchise, but it's only year number one of us being the Barons. So let's go and see what Miami's got to offer. 
We know they have Tua as their quarterback. They have Chase Edmonds and Kenyon Drake as the running back. Kenyon Drake back in Miami. Then at wide receiver, they have Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. still. That's a really good one-two punch right there. X-Factor, superstar, really solid. I mean, 99 speed, 97 speed, unbelievably fast. It's going to be a tough day for our corners. Cedric Wilson, who's also pretty fast, and then Marquez Valdez-Scantling. So this is a pretty decent wide receiver core in terms of just overall speed because their top four guys all have 90-plus speed. So amazing. They don't have Mike Gesicki anymore. He is gone. Max Williams is the tight end. Teron Armstead, Liam Eikenberg, Connor Williams, Robert Hunt, and Alec Elfman are the offensive line. So that offensive line is not experienced as much as I thought it could be. It's not as talented as it could be. We could have a pretty good day with pass rushing the passer. Emmanuel Ogba on the defensive line with Christian Wilkins, Tyree Blue. And then on the linebacking core, they've got Melvin Ingram, TJ Edwards, and Jalen Phillips, who I do like. Jalen Phillips is a really good player, really fast. Corners, Xavier Howard, Byron Jones still. They got Deion Taylor the third, who is a superstar rookie. 92 speed, 94 excel, 92 agility. 22 years old, already playing up to a 78 overall. This dude must have been a top five pick or something because he looks like a stud. They got a good one there. J uh, Javon Holland is their free safety, who I do like. And Adrian Phillips, former Patriot, is the strong safety kicker punter, Jason Sanders and Thomas Morstead. Okay, so we know what we have to do. We've got to brush the passer with Josh Allen, with Quinn and Williams, with Derek Brown. We got to get to the quarterback. Their offensive line's really weak, not as strong as it could be. As you can see, we have an 88 overall defense, so we got to use that defense to our advantage. We're going to struggle on the boundaries. Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, going to be really tough to cover. I'm just hoping that we can get to Tua before he he's able to get the ball out to those guys, because it's going to be a it's going to be a tough matchup. Here is the playoff picture if you do care about it. Uh, the bottom teams that you can't see because my, my camera is covering it is the Packers and the Panthers. They are 4-5 over on the NFC side, but everybody else you should be able to see. Rams and Ravens are the one seeds in the, each conference. Obviously, we are not a part of it, but I'm hoping not in the near future we are going to be a part of the playoffs. That is obviously the goal. But now it's time to play the final game of the regular season. Our first official season as the Brooklyn Barons is about to come to an end. That's crazy to think about. We had a very up and down season, but I'd consider it a success, especially if we win this game. But it, even if we don't, I'd still consider it a success. Six wins uh, as a relocation franchise, rebuilding the team, tearing it down, and, and bringing in the guys that I want. I'd still consider this a success. So win or lose, it's still a successful season, but I'm kind of hoping we win. Who knows what's going to happen? Let's go see if we can cover Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Let's go play the Dolphins in our final season game of year number one. It's week 18 of the 2024 season. We'll see the dynamic Justin Fields. Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, the curtain falls on the regular season, and we've got a good one in store between the Miami Dolphins and the Brooklyn Barons. Hi again, everyone. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And, Charles, we look at this Brooklyn ball club. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they come in just in an absolute free fall, losers of seven in a row. And this is where you turn to your best players and look at them and say, can you guide us out of this? We've got to be better than what we've shown. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Brooklyn Baron football for the final time this season is underway in FDR Stadium. Braxton Berrios taking the ball and returning into the 26-yard line. So 
That's uh, that's pretty good. And here he comes for the final time this season. Justin Fields has had a questionable season. <laughs> He's done all right. He's done all right. Given the way this season started and how we've struggled at times, Justin Fields has been has not been the problem most of the year. There's been times where I've questioned his throwing ability. He's had some questionable accuracy at times, but for the most part, Justin Fields has not been the reason why we've lost games. It's certainly, there's been other reasons. And ever since trading Michael, uh, trading Brees Hall to, to give Michael Carter the, the job, I feel like we've been able to run the football more consistently. I don't know if that's just like, that's not true. I don't know. It just feels like we may be able to run the ball a little bit better. As Jeremy Rucker, that might have been Jeremy Rucker's first catch of the year. Melvin Ingram in coverage. I knew we were going to be able to get that. He wasn't going to be able to cover. And that seriously, that might have been Jeremy Rucker's first catch of the year, and he gets it in week 18. What a wild, what a wild time for him. I do like my, Jeremy Rucker because he is a, a former Ohio State Buckeye, but he's just not very talented in in the game. He's pretty low overall. I think he's like a 70. Uh, and look at this. The open lanes for Michael Carter this the game. I mean, the past couple of weeks, I've noticed our run game has really stepped up. Our offensive line has been, like, destroying the run game. They've been doing really, really well. I don't know what's going gotten into them, but I'm here for it. I'm here for a solid run game. And we're on Andre Stevenson. That's why we gave him that contract extension at the end of last episode because... Of runs like that, he earned himself a contract extension last episode, and he continues to run strong to start this game. All right, maybe not. He he, uh, he lost a yard on that one, but that was a solid a solid case of running there for Ramondre Stevenson. I'm gonna actually check this down to Darnell Mooney. Just get a few yards. We don't need to go crazy. That's one thing that I've tried to to cut down on in the the second half of this season has been not taking anything stupid i know i tend to throw a lot of stupid passes but i've tried to to not do that this year i know that's uh, pretty simple to think about i'm gonna throw that quickly michael carter caught that but they're gonna give me the first down they will thank god they gave me that first down i didn't think i was gonna get that the linebacker stayed in coverage in that area i didn't think he was gonna stay there that's a risky throw but it's garrett wilson who do you expect to catch the ball other than Garrett Wilson? What a stud. That was a risky throw. I probably shouldn't have done that. As I was just talking about, I haven't been making stupid throws. And a wide open lane. And Michael Carter gets a rushing touchdown. Okay. I, I mean, we ran the ball very efficiently on that first drive. The opening drive of the, of the game. I'm, I'm blown away at how good we did on that first drive. Okay. If that's going to set the tone for this game, I'm going to be here for it. But we got to see how our defense plays against this Miami offense. Very high-powered, very fast, very elusive, very dynamic, very explosive. So we'll see how we go up against Tua. Tua, not the quickest quarterback in the NFL. He can move around. He can extend the plays if he needs to. But... He's a, he's a pretty accurate quarterback, and he is uh, having a pretty decent season. 35 touchdowns, 4,000 yards. Like to see those interceptions cut down a little bit. I mean, 21's a lot, but that's coming from a guy who's thrown 40-plus, so <laughs> I can't really talk too much. And Quentin Williams is going to be forcing Tua out of the pocket in the first play of the game for the Dolphins. That's a good sign. It's a real good sign. Quentin Williams got right through Robert Hunt. They're gonna, they're gonna double team Quinton Williams, and that's gonna be Chase Edmonds, out of the backfield. See, that's the problem. If we can't get to Tua quick enough, he's got guys all around the field that can make plays happen with minimal, like yards. But that's gonna be caught. It's Jalen Waddle. Somebody lay a big hit on Jalen Waddle. Uh, that's not the. Oh, that's the big hit that I wanted, but it came a little bit too late. He got a huge gain on that because nobody could tackle him for some reason. All right, so it's a huge gain for Jalen Waddle. They've had two pass plays, and they've already gotten like 50 yards in total. Uh, that's going to be given to Chase Edmonds. Huge tackle by Derek Brown there. Big tackle, big tackle. And we're already done, almost done with the first quarter. 
This first quarter flew by because of how efficiently we were running the ball. We took up so much of the time. And they're going to hand that off. It's going to be taken in. I couldn't grab him. It's Kenyon Drake. He kept like, he kept doing like the little animation where he, he just dodges behind his offense lineman. I just couldn't get my hand on him in time. And they, they give it right back to us. So we looked pretty efficient on our drive. They looked pretty efficient on their first drive. Is this going to be a shootout? God, I hope not. I don't think we can handle a shootout. <laughs> We'll see what we can do on our second possession. I'm expecting pretty much the same. I wouldn't see why they we would be able to not run the football. And here he is, Justin Fields. Let's see what he can do. Let's start with a run. Try to set the tone of the, of the drive here. Although they are showing blitz. They back off somewhat. Ramondre goes down quickly. Somehow he got two yards on that. I don't know how they gave him two yards. But this will be the final play of the first quarter. Second down and eight. From the 22-yard line. A solid block, but not a solid block from Lowry. So it's third and five. Okay, I was hoping that Tom Lowry would hold the block a little bit more. He didn't, obviously. Okay. So Garrett Wilson's going one-on-one -on -one press coverage. So we're going to change that. And we're going to send Elijah Moore on a slant route in the middle. Because he should be open, and he was. But unfortunately, he got hit before the first down. So that is a fourth and one situation. I hate fourth and one situations. I accidentally floated it. I pressed the wrong button. That's on me. That's on me. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. I did not mean to press R1. I did not mean to. My thumb just, or my finger just accidentally just had a like a it just had a, like a little twitch or something i don't know and I, I pressed r1 and it was enough ah that one hurts that was certainly not my intention was to throw that ball certainly i mean it maybe i could have thrown it to him but not a lob a lob was the worst option there and i that's just what happened man my brain wanted triangle but my my finger pressed r1 <laughs> sometimes that just happens and Tua and this offense are gonna have to take advantage of that. They like throwing these deep or these these little out routes and stuff, these quick throws. Luckily, Jalen Mills was athletic enough to keep up with, with Tyreek and get there. Beat him to the sidelines. There's gonna be a delayed handoff. Quinn and Williams kind of slowed him down a little bit, and then uh, we picked him up there with Quiddy Pay. I think Quinn and Williams he he obviously bumped him. He made contact with him, but I don't know if that that might have affected affected him. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Tua has a lot of time in the pocket, decides to throw it to the sidelines to Max Williams. Nobody's there. And, hey, I mean, holding them to a possible three points after what happened and where they started, I say that's a win for this defense. Maybe we can block the kick. No, we can't. Jason Sanders puts that through. So, I mean, hey, ten points or a three-point lead is not as bad as what it would have been with a seven-point lead. The defense did a really good job there to stop Tua in the offense. And now, hopefully, I can actually press the right buttons. Braxton Berrios. Wow, that was a, a weird block. Luckily, like, Berrios was able to get more yards out of it. Okay, we just got to focus. We just got to focus, get the right button, and then we'll be good to go. They're showing blitzes again with everybody. Everybody's blitzing, it looks like. And they commit to it, and they get through the offensive line and shut me down there. Hmm. All right. This play we've called earlier in the in the game. This time it works to CJ Uzama on the little clear out. That was a good one. That one worked. That was a big time throw. And now we can try to milk more clock with Michael Carter, get more runs. And Carter will go not really anywhere. Let's go with a Z spot. Elijah Moore or Garrett Wilson could be open. Uh, I think Elijah Moore will be open. He is. He's able to break away. Okay, that was a little intense because I had to wait a little longer than I wanted to. I wanted to catch or snap it and catch it, throw it really quickly, but it just wasn't available. It probably would have been either picked off or incomplete or something. So... 
I had to wait a little longer than I wanted to, but luckily it worked out for us. And that's going to be Carter has some open space. He's already had 11 carries today. We've really been running this football. Second down and five. Ramondre's in the backfield now. And Ramondre will... Not sure what happened there. <laughs> he just got, like, shoved back. That was crazy. There it is. That's open. It's Elijah Moore. He's going to have the first down. And that's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Boom. Okay. Solid first down. I was thinking Garrett Wilson there. That was my first read. But then I was like, you know what? Elijah Moore's probably going to be open, and he was. So let's try the, the clear out again, because that really worked last time with CJ Uzama right down the middle. If it doesn't, then we can always hit Darnell Mooney. Uh, it's not open there. There was... Elijah Moore was open. If I would have floated it to him, it might have been a touchdown. But I just... I didn't notice it until it was. I already had focused on Darnell Mooney there. That's going to be a quick throw. That's Mooney. This time he catches it. Just short little intermediate passes is all we really need. And we can we can move this ball. Throw that. That's Mooney again. I'm not sure where the first down marker is, but I'm sure we got it. We did. They didn't have the first down marker on the field. I didn't know where it was, but we did get it. Good job there by Fields and Mooney. And I'm going to actually hot route or audible this into a run. And good blocking, and Michael Carter gets to the one-yard line before getting touched down. And Elijah Moore, I like this route. Little quick throw. It's not there. It's not there. It's not there, but now it's there. Touchdown, Barons. We take the lead back. Dominic Peck is hurt. That sucks. But Elijah Moore takes the touchdown before halftime. They get the ball to start the second half. So that is a little concerning because they do have 56 seconds. But that's a big touchdown. That's a big touchdown and a dislocated elbow. <sighs> Dominique Peck out for the game. Out for the rest of the game. He does get hurt a lot. I've noticed that. Dominique Peck gets hurt pretty frequently, which sucks because I think he could be a really talented player on this offensive line. It's going to be... Ooh, you had some space there. You, you chose the wrong lane. I think that was... Uh, I think that was Kenyon Drake back there. He had some lanes that he could have taken, but he didn't take them. Oh, Quinn and Williams getting to the backfield, and Jalen Mills again, his second deflected pass of the game. He's doing a, a he's got a tough duty guarding Tyreek, and he's doing a, a good job as of right now. We gave him a tough assignment trying to cover Tyreek Hill. Quinn and Williams forcing a bad throw, and Jalen Mills. Yes, we were just praising him. We were just praising Jalen Mills, and he goes and makes that interception. What a play. How did he get all his feet down? How did he get his body down on this? Because Quentin Williams has been, like, absolutely bullying Robert Hunt this entire game. But Jalen Mills just goes over and mosses Tyreek Hill. He gets one foot down. I don't I don't think that's... that's did he have possession? He only got the one foot in, unless they count his shin as another part of his body because that's the only other part of his body that touches before he goes out of bounds so i don't know what they saw there to count that as an as a completed interception but i would take it i'm not going to argue with results i mean look at this that is uh that is a picture worth a thousand words right there jalen mills he's been having a tough assignment on tyreek all day and he finally gets the upper hand on him all right you love to see it Tua throws interception. A little delayed route from Garrett Wilson there. He didn't take off when I thought he was going to. That threw me off. <laughs> I was expecting Garrett Wilson to go. Was that a design delay or was that just like a glitch? I don't know what it was, but it didn't work for us. And I got to throw that quickly. It's going to be picked off. So there goes our momentum. And that's going to be a pick six. Unless Justin Fields can stop him. There was three people in the middle of the field, and I still threw it there. Why would I do that? I don't know. It's like I don't listen to myself. I talked about literally earlier in this game, I talked about how I don't need, I haven't been making stupid mistakes like I, I usually do. And that was literally the, the, essence, the essence of a stupid play. I should have never thrown that. He had three guys in the middle of the field, and I still threw it to him. He got picked. 
and then I got picked. <laughs> but like when Darnell Mooney was making that run, there was three guys in there. He ran into one of the linebackers, and then the ball just sailed right past. God, I'm an idiot, bro. I am so stupid. I never learn. That's going to be caught, but we're going to hold Max Williams out. And somehow, the Dolphins have had the ball twice now. The Dolphins have had the ball twice within, like, the 15-yard line. And they have only come away with now six points. So I think that's a success. This defense is playing really well. But I'm really frustrated that we couldn't capitalize on our interception that we got on Tua. We still lead by a point. Somehow. I'm not sure how we lead by a point, but we do. I think... I'm just going to take it out. I was thinking I wasn't going to take it out, but who cares? 10 seconds. We start at the 22-yard line. I think we try to push this ball down the field. Probably a bad idea, but I like it. They're playing three deep, and they just brought a couple guys closer. So if I can... That was a... Wow, what a big hit. That was a uh, that was an online interception right there. I just got lurked. I just got lurked by the CPU. That was the the quintessential Madden Ultimate Team user interception, user lurk interception. And I just I just had it against the CPU. That is the dumbest thing I've ever experienced in my existence. I can't believe I just did that. And I, mm, <laughs> I gave the Dolphins the lead, basically. The Dolphins had 10 points, and we should have had more than 14 points. Oh, why do I make the dumbest of decisions? God, I'm so stupid. I am the dumbest person ever. Man, I'm an idiot. Why do I make these dumb decisions, bro? It's frustrating. It's infuriating to do, and I'm sure it's infuriating to watch. But that's a pick, Derwin James! I can't even say that was easy reads. I can't even say that was a user pick. I wasn't usering Derwin James. Tua, what are you doing? We gotta go back and watch this. What is Tua seeing on this play? So basically, he's just gonna check this down. But this is kind of similar to my interception with Darnell Mooney. He just, he throws it quickly. He has a predetermined option. It's Max Williams. But look at this when he's throwing this. He's throwing this right here. He's trying to pass, he's trying to pass lead Max Williams to the middle of the field. But Derwin James is right there. It just, it's basically two of just pitch and catch with Derwin James at that point. I don't know what he was thinking on that one. So two interceptions by each quarterback, or three interceptions. By, is there three interceptions by Justin Fields or two? I think it's two. And Michael Carter breaks the first tackle. I've been impressed with Michael Carter. I have been. I'm not saying that it's a guarantee that he's going to be the number one next season. It's a good possibility that he will be. But I've been very impressed with him. He fights for um, no yards after what looked like he was going to lose a yard. I think we give this to our power back, Ramondre Stevenson, and let him see if he can do some yards here. Get in there, Ramondre. Good job. Get those yards. There's the first down. Good job, Ramondre. You earned yourself a contract. You got to play like it. I think we go back door here to Garrett Wilson. Yeah, Garrett Wilson's open. Touchdown. He rolls in. Garrett Wilson continues to be a stud. I'm really hoping he goes up to superstar development. Uh, within the offseason. He's definitely deserved it. He's played so good. He's played so good this year. He definitely deserves to go up to superstar development. We get our lead back, even though we should never have lost it. We get our lead back 21-16. to We finally capitalize on the two interception, even though we didn't capitalize on the first two interception. Luckily, Tua threw another one. And we will give this back to the Dolphins. Kenyon Drake returns, and Sean Wade gets the broken tackle. And keeps fighting, but he goes out of bounds eventually. All right, Tua thrown two interceptions today. And two kind of bad interceptions. One, Jalen Mills, it was a 50-50 ball. He just mossed Tyreek Hill. The second one was a horrible interception. Don't know what he was looking at there. That's going to be caught by Max Williams. It seems like Tua really likes to throw it to Max Williams. And they've gotten away from Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. The first couple of, of um, throws in the first quarter, 
were really all to like Jalen Waddle and and Tyreek, but oh, that's gonna be Quiddy Pay. He had to go from a mile to get that sack. Tua held the ball way too long there. Quiddy Pay had to go a long way to get that sack, but he did it. He delivers. That's a quick throw caught by Jalen Waddle, and that's a first down. Unfortunately, it's just too hard to cover on those quick slants, those cuts. I mean, just it, the too explosive, Tyreek Hill and, and Waddle. Our guys just aren't that quick. Two has got time again. He's going to go deep. This time, it's going to be knocked incomplete. Michael Carter knocks it incomplete. I don't know. Who are they throwing to there? Not sure who that was they were trying to get to. But a one-on-one 50-50 -on -one ball, and Josh Allen stops him in the backfield. Good job, Josh. Third down and 10 from the 37 of Miami. The Vikings are 3-13. and 13. I just realized that. That's crazy. Oh, stop him. Oh, I mean, Tremaine Edmonds laid the big hit. Derwin James, our big money free agent signing, who's played amazing this season, has an interception in this game. Has an injury. I don't know what it was. He was just standing there <laughs> when they cut to him. I'm not sure what it, what it is, but... That's going to be a quick throw to Jalen Waddle. Don't know what happened there. I, I, like, glitched. I went for the hit stick, and he just zoomed right out of the camera, or right out of the view. It was weird, but Jalen Waddle with the catch. Not surprising that Jalen Waddle's open on that play. They're going to completely change the play. I wonder what they're going to here. What are they going to go to? They're going to throw it. It's going to be caught by Max Williams. Uh, Derwin James only has muscle cramps, so I'm going to bring him back in here. Give him a drink of water and get him back in here. We need our super stud strong safety. That's going to be Chase Edmonds on the stretch. That ball is out. Pick it up. It is. David Ajabo's got it. Who forced it? I don't know. That ball popped out, and David Ajabo comes and picks it up. Who, who, uh, who forced that ball out? Oh, who is that? Is that? Oh, it's Jalen Mills. Jalen Mills laid the hit. He dropped a hammer on Chase Edmonds. Jalen Mills has a pick and a forced fumble in this game. And then David Ajabo sees the ball and sprints towards it and picks it up. Wow, Jalen Mills, man. He has been a, a force in this game. That's going to be Michael Carter. If he could get to the edge, if he was just a little bit faster. If he was just a little bit faster, he might have had a huge gain on that. Jerome Baker with the tackle. This has been really just like a, a running type of game. I mean, yeah, Justin Fields has a touchdown, but Michael Carter's got one, and we've just been very efficient running the football today. And we were very efficient against the Chiefs running the football. And Michael Carter breaks the first tackle. 17 carries, 77 yards. Very good, very, very good for Michael Carter there. And very good for Ramondre Stevenson, too. I will certainly take this clock down. I don't care how it happens. If we can get another victory, back-to-back -back victories to end the season, that would be such momentum. Such crazy momentum. Great blocking from the wide receivers. You see that blocking from those wide receivers? Phenomenal. That's going to be Garrett Wilson. He holds on to the pass, and Garrett Wilson, what a stud. He's a beast. He eats your heart out like Jeffrey Dahmer, baby. What a stud he is. And now we enter the fourth quarter of the final game of the season, and we're up 21-16 trying to score another touchdown to go up two scores on Miami. It's going to be Michael Carter, and he's going nowhere, really. Going nowhere. That's okay. We've got other plays in the playbook we can go to here. Don't know what they are, but we've got them. Uh, no! Throw it away! Uh, Michael Carter got stuck. He got that stupid animation where he tried to pass through the offensive line, but he just got stuck there. That was my read. I was going to drop it down to a, a little check down to him, and he just got stuck. I threw another dumb pass! God, I'm stupid. I'm stupid, 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 stupid. God, I'm, I'm a moron. I am an absolute imbecile. Why did I throw that? That there made no sense. And yet I did it anyway. 
I, somebody needs to take this controller away from me because I am a I'm a danger. I am a danger to myself and to this this team and this organization because I'm just so incompetent. I don't know what that was. There was no no good reason to throw that. No good reason at all. Uzama was wide open in the middle of the field. What did I do? Throw it to the guy that's covered in the end zone. Of course, because I'm a freaking genius. Jalen Waddle wide open there. God, I'm stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Man. The amount of dumb plays throughout this entire series that I've done, and not even just, like, fully my fault, too. Like, not, not anybody else's fault but mine. The amount of dumb plays I've forced. <sighs> brutal. Brutal. Five minutes to go in the game. We're up 21-16. I really need to get bailed out here by Tua. This defense needs to get another turnover here or just like a punt or something. Anything but a touchdown will do. Third and two from the 47. I would expect this to be a run. They've been pretty successful on the runs. It's going to be Chase Edmonds. He's going to get the first down. Break a tackle initially. I should have adjusted to the run. Even though I said it was going to be a run, I didn't adjust. Okay, so they got a fresh set of downs after the big time first down. They're going to hand it off again. Chase Edmonds, Nicobe Dean's there, and also Josh Allen. And now Derek Brown's injured. Okay. Luckily for us, at least to this point, Dominique Peck's the only one who's been out for the entire game. That's going to be quick throw. Derwin James is right there. Blur broken away by Max Williams. It's third and inches. It's third and inches. This is clearly a... This is clearly a, a run play here. And it's going to be Chase Edmonds. He gets to the side. Murphy Bunting forces him down. But I didn't think it was going to be a stretch. I thought it was going to be a run up the middle. Dislocated shoulder. We get we get to see the, the rookie. Um, he gets to come in. Dante Jenkins, I think is his name. He gets to come in, so that's good. That's going to be in the end zone. Derwin James, no! Derwin James dropped it as he was coming to the ground. Derwin, that was our chance in the end zone, too. One on one with Max Williams. That's a quick throw. Caught by Tyreek. That bell is out. Big hit. Godfrey, the rookie. Jalen Mills picks it up. Jalen Mills has been the real deal. Jalen Mills, he's got Jalen Waddle tracking him down. Nobody's going to catch him. And Jalen Mills will take it to the house. Fumble recovery for a touchdown. Oh my God. Jalen Mills has been the guy. Replay, replay, replay. Who forced it out is the big thing. So it looks like, no, miss there. It was Godfrey. That's right. I said Godfrey forced out the rookie. He forces it out. Jalen Mills comes and picks it up. And then he just outruns everybody. Jalen Waddle, I really thought was going to catch him here. And he just misses him. And then Jalen Mills does his thing. Yeah, you show that. You show the Miami Dolphins who's the boss. Who's the boss? Oh, that's cold. That's cold. Jalen Mills is that guy. Yikeskies. That was cold right there. Absolutely cold. Jalen Mills has a pick, a forced fumble, a fumble recovery, and a defensive touchdown. He has been that guy in this game. He might need a contract extension. <laughs> he might need a contract extension on this game alone. 28 to 16. It is multiple multiple possessions for the Miami Dolphins. Three minutes to go. The Dolphins have just not been able to control the football. They've thrown two interceptions, two fumbles. That's going to be caught. It's going to be a great juke move there. Or like change of direction, I guess. Not really a juke move. But they got to go into overdrive here. They, they cannot waste any time. They still got all three of their timeouts. Quick throw, caught by Cedric Williams, back to him. So back-to-back -back plays for Cedric there. 
I'm not surprised that Tua's getting this ball out really quickly. They're not going to get this playoff. Nope. I knew they weren't going to get that playoff. Okay, so two-minute warning. They're either going to use their timeouts here, or they're going to wait until they, well, for them, hopefully score. We'll see what happens. It's going to be dropped by Jalen Waddle. Wow, the rookie Godfrey was in coverage. But Jalen Waddle does not drop those. It just right off the hands. He bricked it. Bricked it right off the hands. A surprising result. And now it's third and one. It's going to be caught by Cedric Williams. He's been the man on this drive. He has been the guy they go to. The go-to guy for this Dolphins team in this drive. Another quick throw. It's Cedric Wilson again. Big hit by Ashton Davis. Somebody guard Cedric Wilson. He has been the dude. Quick throw. Caught. It's Cedric Wilson. <laughs> he just It doesn't matter what side of the field he's on. He's always going to catch the ball. To a safety valve is Cedric Wilson. There's Tyreek Hill. Tried to force a, a big hit but couldn't do it. They are running out of time. They are under a minute to go from the 10-yard line. Tua, what's he going to do? He's going to step up in the pocket, throw it deep in the end zone, out of the back. Incomplete. And now there's 45 seconds. So even if they do score this touchdown, they're going to have to go onside kick and hope to the, the gods they get it back. All right, Tua with the ball, has time, finds his man. It's caught. That ball's out again. They cannot hold on to the football. N'Kobe Dean picks it up, and that game is over. The Brooklyn Barons are going to go back-to-back. How many times, if ever, can we say that we went back-to-back -back wins this season? Man, five turnovers, three fumbles, and two picks. Insane from this this defense here that we forced i told you this defense was good man they needed to step up they played amazing against the chiefs and we played amazing here against miami stevenson's going nowhere it's third and ten it is third and ten 31 seconds left there we go there we go stevenson yes he got the first down to seal the game ramondre stevenson deserves that contract that we gave him we didn't pay him too much but he deserves the contract yes sir michael carter going nowhere on that one but hey that's it that's the game ladies and gentlemen the brooklyn barons are going to finish this season with six wins what a phenomenal end of the season big time w we win. Unfortunately, we're probably going to fire Robert Sala after the season. He, I just don't think in the long run that he's the guy for us. But, hey, he, he did good with what he was given. Player stats on the day. Justin Fields, 13 of 20, 128 yards, two touchdowns, and three interceptions. Very brutal stats. But, hey, it's what it is. 22 ca carries, 93 yards, and a touchdown for Michael Carter. Seven carries, 27 yards for Ramondre Stevenson. Both of these dudes are studs. Uh, four catches, 29 yards for Elijah Moore with a touchdown. Garrett Wilson has three for 40 and a touchdown. Darnell Mooney has three for 19. Then we go to the tackle side of things, and this is where we really shine. Six tackles for Derwin James and N'Kobe Dean. Five for Murphy Bunting. Jamin Sherwood had uh, five as well. Jalen Mills, what a stud he was. We sacked Tua twice. Quiddy Pay and Josh Allen. We picked off Tua twice, Derwin James and Jalen Mills. And as you know, we forced a fumble uh, with Godfrey forced one, Sherwood forced one, and Jalen Mills forced one. And then Jalen Mills, he popped that ball out. But then later, he picked that ball up and he took it to the house. Touchdown for Jalen Mills. And we are going to win 28 to 16. What a game! a terrific way to end the season and now we can look forward to this offseason try to build this team and progress even further okay so we didn't make the playoffs but we knew that was going to be the case but hey we didn't finish in last the dolphins do because they lost to us so 6 10 and 1 the division was not great the bills won the division with 11 and 6 record not a great division and we have 22.8 million dollars in cash space we can free up more if we want to this is the official playoff bracket the Panthers and the Packers are still the 4-5 teams. Uh, my camera is blocking that. 
But, okay, pretty interesting playoffs. I don't know who's going to go to the Super Bowl. We will find out who's going to go to the Super Bowl as we continue to simulate here. But we need to figure out what we're going to do in the offseason. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to need to get a new coach. We're going to need to get a new, um, maybe a new offensive coordinator. I don't know. There's a few things that we need to decide on, although we can spend some staff points. Let's do that right now. So we can spend, let's probably do this first though. Get those discounts going. Then spend some points, some points on you. We have 12 points available. Okay. All right. Let's get to the Pro Bowl. We might have some Pro Bowl players. Who knows? Let's simulate and find out if we have any Pro Bowlers on the on the roster this year. All right. So we've got no quarterback, no running back. Garrett Wilson makes the Pro Bowl. That's one. Uh, no offensive lineman. No. Quentin Williams is two. Quentin Williams is two. Sean Murphy Bunting is three. I would hope that Sean Murphy Bunting made the Pro Bowl. He was a stud this year. I think he broke broke or tied the interception record. And Jalen Mills makes it as a kick returner one. Weird, but four Pro Bowlers. For the season that we had... Four Pro Bowlers is pretty awesome, and it looks like it's going to be Broncos Packers in the Super Bowl this year, so we can we can figure out who's going to be Super Bowl champions. Murphy Bunting gets an upgrade point. All right. Maybe because he went to the Pro Bowl. Ooh, Sean Murphy Bunting has a new ability unlocked too. Uh, return Man and Strip Specialist. I don't really want Return Man. I'd probably want... I probably want tip drill tip drill is the best for what he can get right now he can't get acrobat i'm gonna switch to acrobat once he can get acrobat but he can't get acrobat right now so we'll go with that uh for right now and that wait hold on sean me for bunty might have x factor i think that was x factor garrett wilson goes up to superstar that's awesome justin field stays at star elijah moore we know is superstar but on defense, Sean Murphy Bunting is a superstar X Factor. Quentin Williams is a superstar X Factor. Bryce Hall is a superstar. Derwin James, we know. Okay. We've had some development. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. You love to see it. We got some development upgrades. Okay, so who's going to be Super Bowl champions? Packers or Broncos? I'm going to say Packers. I think uh, Rodgers gets another Super Bowl trophy before he retires. And no, it's going to be... Probably Russell Wilson, I'm assuming. And now, ooh, we have a 74 million available cap space. We've got a lot of things to, to think about here in the next season. In the next episode, we will take a look at the stats. We will do the offseason and all that stuff. So stick around. You don't want to miss it. Thank you guys so much. Stop by and watch it. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.